Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The president will address the nation a little less than an hour from now. He'll make his case for a protective wall along our southern border. Then he'll broadly argue that America's immigration problems are real. They're not a figment of our imagination. They're hurting the country badly. The president will say all that in a few minutes, but he will not go unchallenged, of course. The Democratic Party and its unpaid operatives in the news media will make their case, too. In fact, they're not waiting for 9 p.m. to do that. They're up early every day reading from the same set of talking points. Today's slogan is simple. Don't believe your own eyes. None of this is real. Everything is just fine. It is absolute fiction that there's a national emergency here. Showing that this is not about a crisis, it's a political ploy. Crisis, crisis, and it's a crisis that doesn't exist. They are trying to create the notion that there's an emergency and something should be done immediately to prevent it. There is no emergency on the southern border. Being from New Jersey, I know national emergencies. Uh, you know, we've seen Superstorm Sandy. Mm -hmm. We've seen 9-11. This is not a national emergency, and certainly... This national emergency is completely made up. A wall is a colossal waste of money for a crisis that doesn't exist. The, even if he declares a national emergency, he's lying. <laughs> Even if he declares it, it will be a declaration of a falsehood. This whole idea of declaring a national emergency is ludicrous because there isn't one. So repeat after me, no national emergency. The crisis at the border is fake. It's fraudulent. It's totally made up. Think leprechauns or locale ice cream something only kids and dumb people believe in. Actually, you know what the border crisis is like? It's like that imaginary caravan from Honduras a few months ago, the one that marched all the way to Tijuana with TV cameras in tow, but didn't really exist. They're telling you the, the existential threat to America is a bunch of poor refugees a thousand miles away. This group of folks, we don't even know where they are. They're way down there. They've been running on an imaginary caravan. This stupid f***ing caravan. <laughs> you know, it's a lie that this caravan is a, is a problem of that magnitude. Right. Programming on the caravan was propaganda. Yep, caravan's fake too. Breathe easy, America. A lot of the problems you've been worried about don't need solutions because they're not real. That's what the media are telling us about illegal immigration and a lot of other things, and it's a relief. But it does leave at least one big question unanswered. If none of this is really happening, why do so many people think that it is? How are millions of Americans experiencing the same hallucination at the same time? And the answer, of course, is it's an illusion. Americans are being tricked tricked by that dastardly Fox News and those demagogues in prime time who won't shut up despite being warned repeatedly by the authorities to be quiet if you know what's good for you. Shadowy saboteurs, of course, played a role as well. They always do. The New York Times ran a piece the other day explaining that Donald Trump only supports a border wall because Roger Stone told him to. It was part of a political ploy. Stone, meanwhile, now appears to be caught up in the Russia investigation, and that makes some sense if you think about it. Donald Trump's election and a wall on the Mexican border. Nobody in Washington could imagine wanting either one of those things, or for that matter, imagining anyone else in America wanting them. So there has to be a secret cabal pushing this crap. Vladimir Putin, Roger Stone, Fox News, they're all in it together somehow. Maybe Robert Mueller will get to the bottom of it. That's honestly how people in Washington think. Trust us, we live here. Of course, it's completely delusional, demented, actually. But once you understand where these people are coming from, it's hard to blame them for constructing these fantasies. The next time you see some angry face on CNN shouting about this or that, remember, this person isn't arguing for change. This person is arguing for more of the same, arguing for a permanent extension of the way things are. They may claim they're mad about Trump or the wall or whatever, name the topic. But those are just symptoms of the larger problem, the thing they fear most, and that is an assault on the status quo. They like the status quo. They're deeply vested in the status quo. This is the group that's become richer and happier since the financial crisis of 2008. There aren't a lot of those people in America. Most of them live in a handful of big cities. A lot of them seem to have cable television contracts somehow. And what this group fears most is that some idiot will come along ask a bunch of uncomfortable questions, and wreck what has turned out to be a very good deal for them. 
low work, high paying jobs, cheap household help, leafy, stable neighborhoods that look like it's 1965, and a corrupt and insular system of higher education that's essentially closed to outsiders, but that can be relied upon to keep this whole scam going in perpetuity. What you're really looking at here is a self-satisfied aristocracy. All of those are the same. What they fear most is a challenge to the way things are. Keep that in mind tonight as you watch their response. We don't need walls, they'll tell you. And they're right. They don't. They already have their own.